downtown Cincinnati, WLW presents the Good Morning Show, starring Bob Braun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. gloomy Sunday morning. Today I wanted to share a fun little painting activity I did last weekend and it's been something I wanted to do for a while and I'm so happy I finally did and I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys too. So for a little background, Pat and I have been painting as a side hobby every now and then. I think the first time we tried was through Sip and Go and then we realized we enjoyed it so much that we started painting at home because it's much cheaper to buy your own materials and booze. But yeah, I think for the both of us, painting can be so therapeutic. <laughs> so with all this time at home, I thought that this was the best opportunity to deal with something that's been bothering me for a really long time. Here, I'll show you. So this is my room. And my biggest frustration with it is that everything feels so dull. It's just a blank, white room with no personality. So now, the easiest modification that I thought I could add was to put some wall paintings right on top of my headboard here. So I went to Pinterest and literally typed in DIY wall art. So after some searching, I decided that I wanted a three-panel painting that was simple, colorful, and abstract. Mostly because I knew that I wouldn't be able to do anything else. So I narrowed it down to these three designs that I wanted to replicate. I chose them because I really liked the combination of the lines, the patterns, and the colors. Plus, with these kinds of designs, it's more forgiving and doesn't really need you to be perfect when you paint them. So I shared the pegs with Pat, and she got all the supplies online, and we went right to it. We were going to be painting in my bedroom, so I made sure to klutz-proof it and put newspaper everywhere so we don't make a mess. With the first painting, which we referred to as the sunset, our biggest issue was making a perfect circle. Since we didn't have a compass, we used the bowl. I think it worked out pretty well. For all the paintings, we wanted them to maintain a border, so we put masking tape on it. About two tape lengths, because the one we had on hand were pretty thin. When we painted the lines, we made outlines first and then painted them. But eventually, we got lazy, so we freehanded them instead. Again, none of this has to be perfect. We also made a ton of mistakes while we were doing this. When we put the masking tape border on the first canvas, we forgot to paint the background first, which made the border look kind of dirty and off color. <laughs> and when we did pull the masking tape expecting a clean line, some of it bled out, so I guess it wasn't tight enough. I don't know, but we just covered it up with more paint anyways. But all in all, I think it still turned out pretty good. The fact that me and Pat made it makes it that much more special anyways. It did take me a while to get it on the wall though. 
I kept rearranging it and finding that perfect placement because I felt like it was either way too low or way too high. Eventually I got some tips from our interior designer friend, Kay, which was that ideally wall art should be hanged six to eight inches above the headboard. And to align it easily, you place the left and the rightmost paintings on the edges of the headboard and it'll be much easier to install the middle piece. Overall, I'm super happy with how it turned out. I feel like I was able to add that little bit of character to my room that I was looking for. So yeah, really good, really fun weekend activity that really didn't cost much. So yeah, I think I'm an artiste now. So if you think you want to make this yourself, let me know. If you have any tips for me, let me know as well. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.